I'm just so upset right now. So upset. And I'm even more upset because I'm vlogging instead of calling my school to tell them that I'm going to be late or I won't make it. So let me call my school right now and I'll come back and explain everything to you guys. Come on. I really need to start giving myself more credit because look how it came out. I, I understand why black people, well, not black people, but the Southern culture, like dip it in the um, flour and stuff like that. Cause without it, it looks like African fried chicken. But I put some hot sauce and barbecue sauce on. Well, I put hot sauce and barbecue sauce cause everything on my plate is really dry. Those potatoes are dry, not like, it's supposed to be juicy. I never tasted juicy potatoes, but yeah. So I was like, let me just compensate and put some wet, wet on chicken. So I don't know how to open my hood. Oh my God. I should be ashamed of myself right now. I got it. Open. Does it stay open? Yep, it stays open. All right. Oh my God. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. It's wet. Oh my God, now I won't go in. All right. This is me trying to attempt to see if my old needs change. Whatever. I'm going home. I really don't do anything. Like, I, all I do is study in my house, in the school library. Like, that's all I do is study and go food shopping. That's all I do. <laughs> like, seriously, it's so boring. But hopefully this week when I go to the mechanic, I can record that and things like that. So that should be fun. But yeah, literally, I had a test today. <sighs> Honestly, like I studied all weekend for this test. Like I didn't even go to this fair, this festival that they have here because I was like, oh, I need to study. I had two tests coming up, I have to study. I ended up studying for this one class this whole weekend and just doing notes on my other class. And when I took the test, it wasn't even that hard. Like it really, it really wasn't that hard, but what I studied wasn't on the test. So that made me really nervous. And like, I think that affected my performance also, but Hopefully I passed. And see, I can pray that I pass, but really the thing is I have to pray that I get over an 80 because that's passing in midwifery school. But anyway, enough of me babbling about schoolwork and stuff like that. I'm going home now. So literally I was on my way home. Literally I was like driving. Got on the road and everything, and then I saw a gas station. I was like, I might as well. Some hair on my tires. I don't even low key know how to put hair on my tires, so I'm about to YouTube how to do it. So, for those that just had to use YouTube to teach themselves how to pump a tire, if you go along the side of the, um, the tire, there's a number that has SI at the end. Right before it says max press, it says 44 psi. And that tells you how much pressure the tire can take before it busts. So on the um, thing that you use to pump the tire, there's like a gold part once you stop pumping that um, shoots up and it says a number on it. So, and that's when you know when to stop. Yeah, yeah, that's me. It's more than me than my mouth. I know I got a mouthpiece. Just try to walk a thousand miles. My shoes, please. Think of what the movie and chill. Then I'll probably let you cop a fair. But only if I got the time. And you know I'm a busy bitch. Let's keep it real. Cause you know I'm a woman that takes care of myself. Gotta get up early, gotta take care of my wealth. I wear sweats, don't fuck with lingerie. Don't care what a man say. I'ma do it my way. But I'm a girl.
welcome. Not everybody knows how to put air in a tire, but we're learning here. I got hard work and I got some packages. I'm so excited. I know that's a book, but this is some real stuff. I got a teeth whitening kit. I don't know if I should do, I think I'm gonna do it this weekend. If I pass the test that I took today, I'm gonna treat myself by buying myself a pair of grills. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with grills in Maine, but I've always wanted grills, so might as well get some grills. And I'm gonna find out this test score by Friday. So either I'm gonna be ending this vlog with my purchase of some grills or I'm gonna be upset. I can't even fathom what's happening right now. Like, I'm like three seconds away from crying. I'm like so upset right now. And I'm crying because, no, I'm, I'm not even crying yet, but my eyes are getting watery. I just don't understand why this is happening to me like i have a whole flat tire i had a flat tire since i left my house but when i was driving i heard something like rattling yo there's something wrong but i thought it was like maybe my oil tank is like on the floor or something like that like my whole engine is dragging on the floor that's what i thought so immediately i like called my dad as i was driving and like when you leave my street my road you you turn a lake and like there's no just stopping i'm not stopping on the middle like i'm not stopping there to go pretend to see what's happening underneath my hood um one of the people that's on the executive board of the library they were coming in this morning to fix my to not fix but to um do to do reinstallation of the whole building so they had to get into my base i'm upset at my father i'm upset at my, I'm not even, I, honestly, this is one situation that I can't, well, I'm upset at myself for the fact that I drove all the way from my house to here, and that's about, like, 10 minutes on a flat tire, and I probably damaged the tire that's on this car, but anyway, so, um, the fact that I didn't even feel that one side of this car is, like, tilted, but anyway, so I'm driving, and I'm like, I hear the rattling sound, and then as soon as I made one turn, I was like, OMG, my tire is out. And like, mind you, since I've been hearing the um, rattling sound, I was calling my dad. I called this man. I called him. And he was like, and he didn't pick up the phone. So now I'm driving, trying to call and drive at the same time. And main roads are not straight. They are curved, uphill, downhill, jagged. They have holes in every 10 feet. So I'm driving, notice it was a flat tire. Then the guy, one of the the, the guys that's on the library um, executive board was following me. And the craziest part is that when he first started following me, he was two cars away from me. I, rem I saw the car, it was like two cars away from me. And then one of the cars pulled over. Oh, he probably pulled over because he was flashing his lights. I'm so stupid, but I was so wrapped up in calling my dad that... I just, yeah, I really want to cry right now. Like, I'm just so, I'm honestly not crying because I'm recording myself and that will be really ugly if I uploaded a video with me crying. But I'm just so upset. So he came. First of all, the Jeep Cherokee is one of the dumbest cars to get a freaking spare tire out of. You have to, like, uh, use the tool to um, line the tire down and it comes out from the bottom. Like, that's so dumb. And then the, t the spare tire is damaged. So now I finally call my dad. He finally picks up his phone. My father never picks up his phone and that really blows minds. He finally picks up his phone. I'm telling him what's happening. Tell him that the spare's um, damaged, all of this stuff. This man doesn't have a pen on him to write down my location, and his phone is about to die. I'm all the way confused right now. How is that possible? Oh, one of my classmates just sent me a message. Asked me if I was okay. That's nice. 
I'm not okay. I have a flat tire. My donut is flat. Like, my father's not at work to call AAA. Like, only God knows how long it's going to take AAA to tow my car to the mechanic to get both of the tire fixed. Only God knows how much that's going to be. Do I even have enough money on me to pay this price? I should study. I might as well study. What kind of life is this that I'm waiting for AAA that I'm studying for OHB? What kind of life is this? This is not what I want to live. Update. Um, we call AAA. Um, there's a AAA near here in Bridgeton. It's to get to me. I don't know why, but they say they should be here approximately at 1040. I'm so mad that I'm missing class. I'm still waiting. But he did call me and say that he's on his way and he's near. Oh, that's him. I'm guessing that's a player. I don't know. Let's see if he stops. Not triple A. Oh, it is triple A. But he's just coming around. Hopefully he's just coming around. I think he's coming around. Uh, no, it was him. He's coming back. Took him a while. I know him. Story of my life. Hey, I'm Dude, this is really the story of my life. Like, I can't avoid. I cannot make this stuff up. Like I really can't. So the guy said he's gonna see if he can fix it for me. Why am I in this truck? Like, oh my god, this is not my life right now. I'm not a city girl anymore. I am full blown. I'm a main girl now. This makes me a main girl. My car is at the mechanic. I got so upset, like I got really nervous. I like looked out the window, I was like, where's my car? So, the reason why I am driving this truck instead of my car is because it's not ready yet but my landlord was so kind oh my god she was so nice enough to give me not give me but let me borrow her truck for me to get to school funny enough i've never drove driven a truck this big before so this should be interesting <laughs> i'm such a clown how do you um huh, how do you Turn on the wind wipers. Nope. 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 Oh, on this side. All right. Let's hope I get to school safe.